What's up guys, I'm Nick, and this is Build Dad Build. A place where if we're bored in the shop, and we're in the shop bored, something's about to get lit on fire. What's up guys, this week, I don't know what I'm making. I, uh, I'm living that quarantine life, and I kind of have the equivalent of I'd say maker's writer's block. There's a bunch of ideas that I have that I don't necessarily have all the materials for. I'm trying to use, use stuff in the shop. Um, and then when I try to focus on one of those ideas, just nothing's really sticking out. So I recently had somebody reach out to me and say they're unmotivated to get out in the shop. And what do I do to get motivated to get out in the shop? And this is gonna sound weird, but when I am unmotivated to get out in the shop, the first thing I always do is I go out and I start cleaning. <laughs> uh, just putting stuff away, uh, getting my hands on my tools, things like that. Watch it. But a lot of times that right there gets me motivated to start putting things together. Sometimes I remember, oh wow, like I, I bought this tool or <laughs> I got a really cool one. Uh, sometimes I remember, oh yeah, like I bought this tool and I meant to do this with it and that sparks an idea. And then the next thing I know, I'm building something. So, first things first. <sighs> the shop is a mess. So, we must clean! Although, I don't think you guys wanna watch that, so we'll be right back. Whoa! There we go, kids. All right, that's much better, much cleaner. I, uh, I did not dust bust after my last time. Hmm. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's just a little merch, baby. Check out the merch shelf below if you wanna buy one of your very own and help keep the Build Dad Build boat afloat. <laughs> All right, guys, and just like I said, as I was working, I was trying to prop my phone up because I was trying to watch a TikTok video while, by the way, I'm TikTok famous now, so if you wanna go check me out on TikTok, you feel free. But I was trying to watch a TikTok video, I was doing some cleaning, and I was trying to pop my phone up, and it wasn't standing upright. And that reminded me that my wife has been wanting for some time a little stand for like her watch and her phone to go on her bedside table, like to charge at night. So guess what? We're gonna make one of those. Now, in true Build Dad Build fashion, I have no idea how to build one of these. So, let's figure it out. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's gonna be way too big. All right guys, so as you can see, the first draft definitely isn't gonna work on my wife's nightstand. We need to figure out a way to make this a little sleeker. Too much of this off, because that's just gonna make it lean back more. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take this way down, and I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I don't know why I went out this far on this. This really needs to be like right here. So I'm gonna take a little of that off, and then, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do right here yet. Right now, well, you know. Shit!
let's light her up. One eternity later. What's up guys? It is day two of this one day build. <laughs> Cause only I could screw it up that bad. But here we are currently. Woo! Um, I will give you guys dimensions of this. Here, let's do the dimensions right now. So whatever I started with is obviously way too big. This has ended up being uh, six inches by by like eight and a half inches. This piece, this cross piece, like four inches. <laughs> when I started, I think the thing was 10 by 10. And now on Build Dad Build, it's time for things that sound inappropriate that aren't. Hey, you wanna see my flex shaft? Hey, you wanna see my flex shaft? Check it out, baby! <laughs> no more holding on to the drill. Just clamp this booger down. Go to town! So, I will link this in the description. This is just an Amazon find. I was just searching around and found this bad boy. It attaches to your drill. Works just like my flex shaft for my drum line. I didn't know they made these. But, it's cool as hell. Admit it. You want one. So right now, after the dye, uh, I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna hit it with the brush again because I'm gonna get some lighter spots in there. Uh, I want this to look a little more weathered than normal. So that's what we're doing right here. Before you guys ask in the comments, this is my infinity bottle. You know what I'm talking about or not. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google that shit. So this build was supposed to be easy. <laughs> this build would definitely take you one day uh, if you don't run into all the problems that I did. <laughs> um, as you see in the video, actually I think I cut out one or two of the times that I just snapped a piece of wood and had to go recut it. it broke four of them uh, before I finally got one that worked. Uh, and that was only because I was trying to, trying to really force that joint to be tight because I knew when I burnt the wood uh, that it, that was gonna get looser. And honestly, in retrospect, uh, I probably shouldn't have been so conscious about how tight that joint was gonna be because I was afraid it would be wobbly, but two pieces kind of seesaw into each other and form kind of a pretty solid base. Now that being said, if I was gonna build this again, that tail piece that sticks out in the back, I would make that a little longer because it is just slightly top heavy. The other thing I would do different is I hollowed out a channel underneath the phone for the cord, but what I found is that when the cord came up through there, if you plug your phone in and, and then put the phone in the base, that cord would actually force down into the tabletop and cause the whole thing to rock up. So I ended up running the cord just through the middle of the base and around and it works fine. Uh, so that, that routing of that channel was completely unnecessary. All that being said, I, like, I think the measurements and whatnot are kind of irrelevant at this point because you're gonna have to build around your devices, kind of like I did. Uh, so just take the idea and run. 
If you guys have not stopped by the Discord channel yet, head on over and, uh, and say hey. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, there's just like some brainstorming and whatnot that goes on in there. Uh, I think I'm gonna have like one or two more. I have one or two more t-shirt ideas that I need to, uh, I need artwork for. So I'll probably run some contests in there. If your artwork gets chosen, you'll get a free shirt. I'd like to take a second to say, say thank you to my patrons. Clinkies, if you'd like to join, head on over to my Patreon page. That'll be linked down below as well. Uh, but all these guys are making it happen, especially Steven Mann and Nick the Greek. All right, guys, hopefully I gave you a little inspiration to get out in the shop and get something done, just a little project like that. Frustrating as it was for me, a bad day in the shop is still better than a good day in the office. If you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I got to get to work.